Hi everybody, I'm Denise. And I'm Kirsten. And we're the Period Pals. We're the parents. Period Pals. <laughs> <laughs> we're not quite in sync this afternoon, <laughs> at least in that sense. But um, welcome to our Periscope, to our demonstration of uh, Angelica and Peony healing oils um, with moxibustion, which is a Chinese herbal technique that warms the body, and we'll tell you more about it as we do it. You want to talk about your oils? Yeah, absolutely. Today, um, the oil that Denise will be using, she's going to do a little demonstration of something she might do in the clinic for a patient um, or something that a patient could do at home that she could uh, teach them or someone watching this demonstration could uh, recreate at home on their sofa. And that's using um, my um, healing herbal oil called Tranquil Palace. This is what Tranquil Palace looks like. And this uh, reminds me that I'd like to thank our great friend, Shell, who is also my uh, marketing consultant and incredible label designer and uh, cinematographer. So thanks very much, Shell. Thanks, Shell. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tranquil Palace that Denise will be using today was designed uh, originally when I was in practice um, treating um, uh, mostly uh, women's health type complaints. Um, so I designed this for use uh, really for menstrual cramps. And have since found, found in my years in practice and as other folks have used it with their patients and patients have taken it home and reported back that it can be used really for any kind of discomfort or distension, uh, including digestively related in the abdomen. The base of it um, is based on um, uh, an infusion of uh, Dongwei and Baishao, uh, Chinese angelica root and white peony root into organic sesame oil. I was inspired to originally do this actually by um, Ayurvedic techniques. I worked with an Ayurvedic practitioner um, in Los Angeles who made these amazing uh, long simmered herbal oils. And that's what first got me started uh, those years ago doing this type of infusion. I blended it together with um, other oils like apricot kernel oil, which in Chinese medicine has a function to move the blood. Um, it has pain relieving function, anti-inflammatory function, we would say um, in Western terms. Evening primrose oil, also known um, more in the Western pharmacopoeia for hormone balancing, pain relief, uh, premenstrual kind of symptoms relief as well. Um, and a number of essential oils, in particular, ginger geranium, that ginger provides a warming, soothing uh, function that we will really recognize for stopping pain from Chinese medicine. If folks have questions or anything, because we are blabbing and demoing, um, I can't see the screen. Um, if you want to hang on to your questions, we'll have a little Q&A at the end. We'll definitely make time for that because we really want to um, answer any questions that folks have or um, you know, respond to any of your thoughts as we go along. So that's what Tranquil Palace is. It's a kind of companion to my other um, uh, gynecological uh, focused oil, Swimming Dragon, which is more uh, focused on uh, premenstrual type symptoms, what in Chinese medicine we would consider liver chi stagnation, that family of symptoms like irritability and bloating. But Tranquil Palace really focuses on pain relief, um, discomfort, bloating, those kinds of things are going to move the chi, warm the uterus, um, and stop pain. <clears throat> okay. All right. So we're going to start the demo now. I'm going to ask my lovely assistant, Kirsten, to lie on the massage table. We'll take your microphone off. Definitely going to. I'm not going to be saying anything, but that feels great. <laughs> <laughs> and please ha lie down on the table. I'm going to clip this. <laughs> I'm going to have two microphones now, and hopefully that'll be okay. So, Kirsten, let me see your belly, please. I'm going to put some oil on Kirsten's belly. <clears throat> Can you hold the bottle for me? Yes. Thank you. And in the clinic or at home, you would probably be wearing less clothes than I am here for the whole internet, <laughs> I imagine. So we just want to put the oil all over the lower belly. And I'm going to show you, um, as soon as I wipe my hands off, uh, three different places to use this warming treatment for different complaints during menstruation. So... Uh, this is moxa, 
It's the herb mugwort. Thanks for getting the close up there, Shell. I'm going to light this end of the moxa with a candle. And so there are three places that are really good for menstruation. We're going to just show a couple of them on Kirsten. Right over the belly button is really good if you're prone to getting cold. If your abdomen feels cold during your period, this is a really good place to put the moxa. And you want to keep it on um, while it's warm. And you can do this at home with Kirsten's oils and with this uh, device called a belly bowl and the moxa sticks, which I and Kirsten both have available for people. Um, the second place is if you're really tired during your period. You want to go two fingers below the belly button. And this is a good place to use if you get tired. And it also helps to move your body's energy um, to help you feel less tired. And then the, the third place is four fingers down. But we're not going to do this on Kirsten's jeans. So I'm just going to pretend. <laughs> we're going to hover this over her jeans. And that place is good for, um, I'm sorry, it's good for pain in the body. <laughs> it's basically right over the uterus? Is yes, it's right over the uterus area. Um, so I'm going to let this uh, warm Kirsten up a little more for a second. How is that feeling, Kirsten? Feels great. Nice and warm. <laughs> um, when you do this on yourself, the good thing is, is that you'll know right away when it's hot. If you're working with your acupuncturist and herbalist, you can just tell them as soon as it gets hot, and they'll take it off right away. So I'm going to show you a safe way to extinguish this. Here I have a bowl full of rice and actually some ashes from old moxa. And you want to take the moxa stick and knock it out into the bowl of rice. And when it's done burning, um, when there's the smoke stops coming out, you know that it's extinguished. You can put another dish over top of it. I usually use a jar with a cap, and then I put the cap over it, and it extinguishes it right away. Um, Kirsten, let me uh, rub your belly a little more and take the... Uh, oil out of your hands. So I think the oil is pretty rubbed into your belly. If you want to just cover your belly up and go ahead and sit up. Thank you. Let me pass back your microphone to you. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. So the thing I love about this is that, you know, I have patients who, who use Kirsten's oils and the belly bowl with the moxibustion at home, and their periods don't even bother them anymore. Um, it's, really, it's a really great self-care tool, and what a great um, you know, testimonial for Kirsten's oils and for the power of Chinese medicine when you can't remember what your period was like last month because it wasn't painful, you weren't <laughs> tired, you weren't crabby. <laughs> Anything else you want to add, Kirsten? Well, moxa is really an incredibly powerful part of Chinese medicine, in my opinion. Um, and I definitely had it in mind when I designed Tranquil Palace because it was something I was already doing for myself every month, um, certainly having you know regular cramps as an issue for me. Um, and so I discovered these kinds of ways of doing moxibustion that are very easy to do yourself compared to if you've had moxa before with a stick style. Um, it's, it's a little harder to do that on your own belly. You don't get as much coverage. And it's also, you really have to kind of be paying attention and holding the, the flaming cigar of herbs <laughs> over your stomach while you're not feeling your best is not the most enjoyable. So the belly bowl to me is a really great addition to the moxa library something I have always recommended to my patients to have at home. Um, I certainly have them. I love to even give them as gifts to people um, because it is such a powerful way to stop pain. You can do this on other parts of the body as well. I mean, a treatment like this would actually probably be very beneficial for low back pain. You would want to have someone helping you with the moxa on that score. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, other types of pain elsewhere in the body, but... Um, 
They're called belly bowls for a reason. They really go great on the belly. And you might have to experiment a little bit um, depending on the geography of your belly. You might want to hold the belly bowl in place. Um, there are two types of belly bowls. This one has the one stick uh, moxa, and then there's other belly bowls that have five sticks. I generally give people the one, uh, the one stick moxa belly bowl because it's a little safer to, to manage, and easier to, easier to manage. So we want to open up to questions? Yeah, absolutely. Folks, uh, welcome to everybody who's here. We can't see who's joining us, but hi, everybody. Hello. And uh, <laughs> if, if folks have questions or comments or anything, we'd love to, love to have some discussion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess our demonstration is very clear, Denise. Yeah, there you go. High five. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Well, thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, you can go to Kirsten's website, angelicaandpd.com, mm -hmm. or my website, jacutoacupuncture.com. My last name is a little hard to spell, C-I-C-U-T-O, acupuncture.com. And if you're following me here, you can see how my, my, my last name is spelled. <laughs> um, and we'll hopefully we'll be back with some more periscopes that you can see and hear us clearly on in the future. <laughs> yeah, we've got some more demos that we're thinking about doing. If folks have questions or things they'd like to see in action, please let us know. You can tweet that to us or um, respond here uh, during the periscope. We'll make this will be available for 24 hours on Periscope, um, but we both use Catch. I think you have it on Catch, mm -hmm. which means that the broadcast stays available much longer. So um, both of us will share the link to it on our social media. So if you do want to, if you are an acupuncturist and would like to give your patients some instructions, you can refer them to this video and they can see how easy it is to use healing oil and moxa for menstruation at home. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>